better. Um, adding a few things, changing a few things, stuff I didn't get a chance to do uh, before the show uh, that I took it to last year, his first show, uh, Brad White's um, Southern Classic. So I decided to change out the mud flaps to uh, from the Detroit Power flaps to International Harvester flaps. Um, I prefer white mud flaps, but these really pop. Um, bought these through IH Gear. Um, good products. Um, I bought a few things from them over the last few years, and um, this last time I had a little issue with the flaps. And Nelson over there took really good care of me, and uh, sent me a second set of flaps, no questions asked, and was doing pretty much doing anything to uh, make sure I was uh, completely satisfied. So I highly recommend IH Gear. Uh, give them give, give a shot. See what it looks like. See if you can like something there. Tell them I sent you. Um, today was light day. Um, tied in the reverse lights um, to a toggle switch and at the same time I added cargo lights. Um, they're LED. For the record, I'm not a big LED fan. I think they look out of place on older vehicles. Um, but they are superior. Um, I do have LEDs in a few places on this truck. Um, cargo lights now. And I did add the H4 uh, headlights last year and they have LED bulbs in them while I will say that the uh, the high low is not a good transition but um, f as far as lighting they're, they're pretty superior I do have um, LED um, dome lamps and LED um, gauge lamps as well and they are bright they're nice love them the thing I did today was uh, move the fans I had the fans right there uh, on the doghouse. I didn't really like them there. I just didn't have a chance to put them where I wanted them. So I moved the fans up to the roof. Uh, CB was actually here. CB is going to be mounted here facing the driver. Uh, I did realize that when I had it facing the rear that it was a pain in the, pain in the neck to uh, change channels and set it up like I liked. So uh, I'm going to move it to a little more user friendly. So tonight I'll come out and um, you know, give you uh, give you guys a shot of the lights uh, in total darkness, and as far as how much it it lights up my backyard a little bit, and uh, I can put some product links in there if you if you're interested. Went with round um, round cargo lights, um, mainly because uh, superstition. Um, I think the superstition says. That if you have a truck with round headlights, that all lights need to be round or something to that effect. Um, so I, I opted away from a, a light bar and wanted something a little more, I guess, traditional looking. So I'll come out here later tonight and pop these on. Let's see. So as promised, I'm out here in the dark. And these are my panel lights. They are LED replacements. <clears throat> they sure make a difference. And that old candlestick glow that the other gauges had, or the other lights, other light bulbs had. <clears throat> Definitely recommend that. Uh, makes a world of difference. And then the dome lights are also LEDs. And wow, they sure light up this cab. Flip both of them on. Amazing difference. Um, so, highly recommend that as far as inside lighting for these older trucks um, now moving on to these cargo lights pretty dark I'm gonna try to hit the mirror here Wow holy mackerel that's amazing and that's just looking at the driver's side mirror that's amazing the amount of light that puts out two little small LEDs Wow very pleased very pleased. <clears throat> Very pleased. In Richmond, Virginia, stay in Joe. You're way behind time. Yeah, again, those are floodlights, so they're not going to project too far, but that is still amazing. Amazing light it puts out. Look at that. That's real. All right, second thing I didn't really show you. Let me shut these off. 
was um, to the clearance lights for the trailer, which is now the flatbed. I had these green signal stats. Um, old school, just incandescent, give off a nice green glow. I call them the, the Jimmy lights. Um, put off a nice glow in between the cab and the headache rack. Um, I think it's not that I like it. Looks good. Basically, I had, I had these, I had these six lights. Um, I've had them probably, I don't know, 20 years uh, or so. They were had clear lenses, and I found the green lenses, five bucks a piece. I figured, why not? Just, just do it. And then uh, I've got the, the bed lights on. They're tied into the trailer. Basically, the trailer lights. <clears throat> And then I, added, I took the three uh, on the swing plate, tied them into the trailer. So uh, that's that. Moving on. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.